Well, we hear people called heroes a lot, and some might say that if it's said often enough, it could dilute what that word means. But it's hard to argue against attaching it to a Buffalo-born Don Holliter, who first came up or gave up a football career and then his life in service of his country. Pete Galvin brought us his unknown story earlier this year as we look back on some of the stories that touched our hearts in 2018. He was the All-American boy. Born in Buffalo in 1934, Don Holliter grew up in the Old First Ward. At the age of 14, he became the youngest Eagle Scout in Western New York history, before his family moved to Rochester and his star really began to shine. He was a three-sport star there at Aquinas Institute and ultimately went on to an amazing collegiate career at West Point. Much of that with him catching passes from a fellow Western New Yorker, quarterback Pete Van of Hamburg. Pete Van passing to Don Holliday, who romps into the end zone for the six points. Don was an All-American. He led his team to a huge upset victory before 102,000 fans in the Army-Navy game. He even made the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yes, he was a hero. Yes, he was a great athlete, but he was a great person. A sentiment shared by just about everyone who knew him. I spoke on the phone with retired Air Force General Perry Smith, Don's roommate at West Point. Of all the people I've ever known in my life, uh, with the exception of my wife and my immediate family, he was the most special guy I've ever known. Being a cover of Sports Illustrated, uh, leading his team onto the, onto the field at the Army-Navy game, and uh, just, a, just a, a wonderful, wonderful person and a nice person to be around. Don was the first inductee into the Aquinas Hall of Fame. He's in the Collegiate Football Hall of Fame. But it's what he did after his days on the gridiron that put him in the category of hero. He could have played professional football, but he really wanted to be a soldier. He wanted to serve his country, and that's what he did. Don rose to the rank of Major, and on October 17, 1967, Major Holliter, realizing his ground troops were in trouble, organized a rescue team and hit the ground with them. Holliter ran ahead of the team and into the jungle. He was killed attempting to rescue wounded soldiers. It didn't surprise me anything about it because that's, that was Holly. He was going to go try to help the soldiers. He'd saved a life just a few months before uh, in Vietnam, and he was going to go save some more lives. His sacrifice so moving that his funeral at Arlington National Cemetery was attended by the likes of Vince Lombardi and Robert Kennedy. I think Don's legacy is important here at Aquinas for a number of reasons, but I also think it's very important for this area in western New York, but also our country. A stadium in Rochester was renamed Don Holliter Stadium. It was torn down, but the technology park that sits on the land still carries the name. But Jim Lanson, a teacher in the Brighton School District near Rochester, is pushing for more recognition in Don's hometown. I think a fitting tribute would be to get Don into the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame and also the Buffalo Naval and Military Museum on the wall there. So today's youth and future generations can learn all about a Buffalo native. And a very heroic chapter of the unknown stories of Western New York. And since Pete's story aired, both the Buffalo Naval and Military Park, as well as the Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame, say that they are looking at honors for Don in the near future.